Well, it is the next day of filming here for Love's New Series 3. And gotta say, uh, just got done with lunch. I made three bacon sandwiches and plate full of chips and plus a soda. And I gotta say, I ate pretty good this afternoon. So, I should be good for the rest of the evening until I get hungry again. And evidently, feel pretty good. Well, we got the dogs in here. And so far, I love, she's just right there just biting herself. Love, what you doing? Are you batting yourself? Huh? You batting yourself? <laughs> and then she was just nibbling on herself. But anyway, we also have the new puppy that is the replacement for Wolverine. And so far, you can see him right there. This is Happy. Say hello, Happy. Yeah. Well, anyway, this is the replacement for Wolverine. Uh, evidently, we can't talk about Wolverine anymore. We're not allowed to. And, well, the bad things that have happened, I don't know what happened to him, but something bad has happened to him. And we're not allowed to talk about it here on this movie or the sequel series 2 or anything. But anyway, uh, we just made a promise. And we're not allowed to talk about it. But anyway, uh, as we get started with this next day, uh, gotta say, we are in line for some severe thunderstorms coming up at 5 o'clock this evening. I looked at the radar. Uh, there is nothing as of yet regarding the thunderstorm development. The National Weather Service for San Angelo has not issued a severe thunderstorm watch as of this point forward, but we are seeing the ingredients of all the things needed for severe weather to fire up this evening. I mean, as we look as 2 o'clock has already rolled in, we are down to 20%. 3 o'clock is 20. 4 o'clock is 20. Then it starts shooting up by 5 o'clock. So thunderstorm activity will start firing in a little while from now. Um, so yes, we will keep an eye on the Doppler radar and any watches or warnings, we will make sure that we get it on video and so far here on Let's New Series 3. Um, my parents, they are out of town. They went to Austin to go watch my niece in a play like school play or something and well so far hope they're having a good time watching the play having fun and you know that's just the basic theater which probably my niece is going to be doing a long time but anyway you know my dad and my stepmother left the last hour, and they're probably still on the road towards Austin. Probably haven't even showed up as of yet, but from Brady to Austin, it is about 156 miles from here. I mean, you go through all these little towns like Johnson City and all these towns. I mean, there's a lot of towns that you go through 
when making the trip. If you ever go visit Austin and so far it's pretty good. So yeah, we're just taking a chill today and you know, so far just for me, just take a chill. Just keeping my eyes on the weather. Yeah, Doppler radar. Severe weather alerts everything. It will be here. I can feel it. I mean, at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, it's 100. 7 is 100. 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, still 100% chance of strong to severe storms. We could have hail up to baseball size, but... Hopefully not. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But uh, in the meantime, we will keep our eyes on the weather. Yeah, we're just we're just chilling out. Me and the dogs. Love is sleeping pretty good. <sighs> I was on and off throughout the night last night, taking care of Happy. I let him out at least two times to go use the restroom. And then... Today, I was on and off sleeping, taking me a series of naps. But, hey, you know, it's pretty good to have a Saturday afternoon nap. Now, you're off of work and pretty much don't have a lot of things to do, but just take a chill every now and then. Let your body recuperate from a long week's worth of work. Not anyway. Yeah, things are going good. Let me just put him and his can on. That way I could take me a nap as well. And after eating three bacon sandwiches at lunch with a plate full of chips and a soda, kind of feel pretty good after doing that. <laughs> oh boy, do I eat like a pig. Kind of feel pretty good. Hmm. Oh boy, <sighs> Yeah, you could tell that my parents, they have switched the room a little bit. See, this desk was over here where the chairs are at. And, well, so far, it looks pretty good this way. Brady home is starting to turn out really good. Yeah. Probably just go walk around a little bit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yep, so... A few days to my birthday. 
We're celebrating the 31st birthday. Yeah, go ahead and take you guys inside this room. We, this room right here, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Oh, and look who's coming in here to join me. Well, what are you doing in here? Huh? What you doing in here, love? Yeah, you just wondering what I'm up to? Oh, usually I'm here filming. Yep, and thank you guys to know this nice bedroom right here. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, and I gotta say that my dad has pretty much put all the all the books put all these little collector books and stuff. You know, this is a, a book called Best Loved Books for young readers and they got like all types of color type books you know these are like like old classic novel type books and you could tell about the uh, the little seal right there cuz I've actually had books like this when I was just a kid. And these books are very rare. I mean, this one you look at, it's a red, red one. This one is just your basic gray, which is pretty good. Talks about a rabbit and a hail and gives you all types of Pretty cool little little pictures. This one is just your normal blue. This one is your sky blue, which is pretty good. I like I like this little book. See, it uh, talks about uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame and. Sherlock Holmes and A. Blinken grows up and the Lost Horizon. I mean, they even show like all these types of pictures, like the Hunchback of Notre Dame and the Adventures of Cooper Beaches. And so far, a lot of cool things. Now, this one right here is. Uh, like honey yellow and stuff. It's a type of book that is, uh, you know. Now these books are good for the little readers. So uh, if you like like these little books, you can find them in garage sales or Amazon or whatever. But this one. Contains the contents of Treasure Island, David Copperfield. Ooh, and even my favorite of all, The Call of the Wild. As you can see right there. So, The Call of the Wild, you go to page 437. 437. And it'll be close to the end of this of the page yeah, and it'll give you the little abbreviation of the call of the wild right there now it is pretty good Jack London was also the illustrator of the book of the Call of the Wild, also the film that released in 2020 with Harrison Ford 
being John Thornton and so far uh, it's all that story just a dog story by the name of Buck You know, and talks about Judge Miller and a lot of a lot of cool things about that. Gives you a good description of this uh, this wolf. It's pretty good. So I will remember uh, this one. This book right here has the Call of the Wild in it. So I'll make sure that it. Uh, that this one, this volume one, will be the first book that all of us will will get to have remembered. I mean, just all types of things. I mean, each and every book will tell you uh, context on the book. Yeah, let me give myself some more light right here. I'll open the door. This book right here has context of how many stories is on there. Treasure Island, David Copperfield, The Call of the Wild, and Madame Curie. So, it's pretty good right there. Now, this one has Robinson Crusoe. The story of Helen Keller, the Jungle Books, and the Great Impersonation. This is pretty much the purple type book right here. Uh, Huckleberry Finn, The Sea Around Us, Alice in Wonderland, and The Prisoner of Zenda, which is this one. This is the uh, bright yellow and stuff, but anyway. Now, this is two years before the mast, the story of King Arthur and his knights, and uh, the miracle hunters, the friendly persuasion, and this is the, uh, I guess the royal blue type book and stuff, but it's got all types of Pretty fascinating stories in there. Now this one is your green one. This has Captain Horiato, Hornblower, Jane and Ear, and my friend Flicka, and Alone. See, you can tell by the green of this page. Now these books, they will be a collector's item one of these days. Just really good. Uh, we got about four more books after this one that we're showing you. Uh, so far, uh, this is volume nine, which is a pretty good book, too. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this one, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which is your first one. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Rabbit Hill and Bayou Guest. This is the gray one. Now the red one. The Scarlet Primeral. Tom Sawyer. The Good Earth and Robin Hood, which is this one right here. And yeah, I'm going to have to switch the camera around because we got two more books. I'm going to show you guys. Now this is your fire red orange right here. This book right here. It's pretty good. This is Kidnapped, Pribed, and Prejudice, Wind, Sand, and Stars, and Green Mansions. So, pretty good on that one. And last but not least, Little Women, Tales of Poe, Mutiny on the Bounty, and Messer, Marco Polo, which is basically the game. If you played in a swimming pool and one guy says Marco, the other says Polo. But anyway.
just a pink type looking book. But these books are good for the young readers. And so far, my favorite one will be will be this one right here because it's got the description of The Call of the Wild. One of my favorite movies. And to this day, it will always be one of my favorites. Um, I think Thinking Love is back in. I don't know where she is, but uh, hopefully we'll find her. And as you can see, this is the next bedroom. Well, what are you doing? What you doing? You just taking it easy. Yeah, you can't go in the rooms. Yeah, I think the little one is still there sleeping. Yes, he is. <sighs> now, what you doing? You're gonna go over and see your friend. Yeah. Well, what have you been doing? Sad sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Well, those are pretty good books. You may find those on Amazon. And, yeah, you can find them on Amazon. I don't know how much they charge for that. Yeah, look at that little one. What are you doing, little one? This is your first time being on camera? Hmm? First time on camera? Little ant fighter. Yeah. You know, we first got him from San Antonio. And, uh... What, you want to get down? Well, get down. Can you get down? Now, I guess I'm going to have to help him down. Hey. What, you want me to help you down? Okay. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah. This is your first time being on camera. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you a funny story. We first got this little one from San Antonio and stuff. My brother, well, my stepbrothers, I will say. They act like my brothers, but I guess I could go with that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, one of my stepbrothers has brought this little one, and we met halfway in a town going going west you go through Brady and Mason and right in there in the town of Mason we met just right outside the town and my stepbrother and his guy friend uh, we met and we were going to meet at this nacho place where they serve nachos and stuff, but we didn't really meet there, but we did meet on the side of the road, and we saw what car he was driving. And Well, from Mason, we drove all the way back to Brady, and you know, this little one, he was just playful, always... Love to bite our toes and fingers and this and that. But anyway, he's he's grown a lot. First time around, get to see him on the third movie. And he's replacement for Wolverine. You know, guys, we cannot talk about Wolverine. I know we want to but 
I don't think it's that time yet. We can't say anything regarding what has happened to him. Because basically we don't know where he gotten off to, but we just don't know. I mean, I can't tell y'all what happened. I was not here when it happened. And I can't just assume things around here and say, oh, well, this happened, that happened. No, I wasn't here when that happened. But anyway, so if you guys remember, uh, I was contacted by Benny not too long ago. And, oh, you may know that he's not himself. He's not doing good. He is continuing to struggle to find a work. And so far, I don't know what to do for him. I don't know if going back to him is a good thing or could be a bad thing if I do. But anyway, I made the decision. I'm not going back because I am not going to be taken advantage of and I'm not going to make the same mistake twice because I don't know what he's capable of doing. I mean, I just don't know. But anyway, it's a no-go right there for him. What you doing, love? You having fun with your friend? That's your mama. That's your mama. Oh, cut that out. Well, uh, y'all need to go outside. Yeah, let's go outside. That way, y'all could go to the restroom and... Come on, Happy. Let's go outside for a little bit. Y'all go out and go use the restroom. Boy, and... As soon as you step out in the front door, the 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 temperature change really does hit you. Yep. Love, don't wander off. Hey, where are you going? Love. Happy. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be fine. He's probably going to go on the other side and go get them a drink. Usually, the uh, water bowl would be on the other side. Boy, and that air conditioner unit is loud. Yeah. Love, come on. Hey, where are y'all? Hey. Let's see. Do I see him anywhere? Happy. Love. Where are you? Come on. 
They're probably still in the front yard. Oh, hit myself right there. Oh, look, there they are. Well, y'all get on in here. Where y'all think y'all are going? Well, you go to the bathroom, so that's a good thing. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, the humidity is up really good. But we are tracking the severe weather coming in. I forgot to tell y'all, there is a dry line right over Texas. It's going like from Amarillo to San Angelo. And that is why the thunderstorm activity sparks up and the daylight of the day, the heating of the day, it's really starting to make the atmosphere unstable. We can have storms in a matter of hours, but we are gonna keep track of the thunderstorm activity as we go through this evening. And we're also gonna monitor the weather alerts. I think within an hour or two, we could be under a severe thunderstorm watch until about 10 or 11 this evening. Just depends. But anyway, uh, it's few clouds, high and low, but so far we're not seeing anything as of yet. Uh, it is, as you can see, the clock is saying 240. Or, yeah, no, 235. Right, I do apologize. <laughs> I'm pulling your legs right there, y'all. But anyway, <laughs> that's the first time I did that. Yeah, love. You having fun? I like being inside. Yeah. 